I had the great good fortune to work with uh, the man whose work we're celebrating here tonight. Let's face it, uh, without Jim Henson, I wouldn't be here and none of you would be here um, because the music that we're singing tonight all is associated with Jim's inspired and inspiring body of work. Um, I got to work with him for two and a half years before he passed away, sadly and tragically. Um, and people always ask me, well, well, you know, what was Jim like? And that's sort of impossible. You run out of superlatives. He was a, 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 a leader who led by example. He was a visionary, creative uh, engine, and a, an uncannily natural, gifted performer. Uh, and something that he really didn't like wear as a badge of honor. He was very modest. Um, but uh, that was obviously a really wonderful time in my life, getting to work with Jim. And he was a lovely uh, co-worker. You never felt like you were working for him. You always felt you were working with him. Um, and you know how we always like to, to keep things around that remind us of, of things that we've enjoyed and things that mean uh, a lot to us or things in the past. You know, we, we wore our college ring or, you know, we wear a, a sweatshirt from our favorite team or, you know, we put up pictures of uh, our beloved ones in our houses and stuff. Well, I'm a puppeteer and a puppet builder. So um, I made a puppet to sort of keep a little piece of Jim around with me, and I want to share that with you tonight. Uh, just quickly, this is not a Muppet. It is a puppet that I made. I, I'm not a performer of a Muppet character, um, uh, but I just wanted to share this with you uh, right now. My little piece of gem. Aww. 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 I can get my foot up. I don't know where to sit. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can get my foot up high enough. Well, can can everybody see my right hand? Okay. A little awkward here. I bet, I bet that I'm the only one who came in a pet carrier tonight. <laughs> well, it's really lovely to be here. It's an aw awfully nice place, and I'm a, a, frankly I'm. A, I'm a little intimidated uh, performing here, uh, following people who have been nominated for Tonys and uh, won Tonys and stuff. Uh, I don't really like to tell jokes. Uh, I can't bring the sexy like term. <laughs> uh, uh, frankly, there's, there's nothing very special about me at all. I'm just a little frog. Even my color is sort of ordinary. Hmm. It's not easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. When I think it could be nicer being red or yellow or gold or something much more colorful like that. <laughs> it's not easy being green. Seems you have blended with so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over Because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles on the water Or stars in the sky <laughs> But green is the color of spring And green can be cool and friendly like yeah. And green can be big like an ocean Or important like a mountain Or tall like a tree when green is all there is to be, it can make you wonder why, but why wonder, why wonder, I am green, and it'll do fine, that's beautiful, and I think it's what I want to be. 